Hello, my peepers. <laughs> what a great way to start the video. Really, Pearl? Really? Okay. Hello, my peepers. Welcome to a new episode of what's new in Shaleen's Neck of the Woods. <laughs> and as soon as I clicked to record, Pearl jumped up here. Hip. It must be the Pearl Show tonight. Is it the Pearl Show tonight? Hmm? You're not going to let me call her, are you? Nope. She's bringing my hand right to her head. She's pulling me in. So we're still working in Magical Jungle by Joanna Bassford for the Valentine's Color Lawn. And I think this will be the last page for Valentine's. <laughs> She's not letting me do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't remember what pencils we're using because the tab was missing, but I found one on the floor and it says Pablo, so I'm assuming we were using the Pablo pencils in this. Oh, cat, you are something else. And yes, I just got home. It's like 7 o'clock. I had dinner at Dylan's. <laughs> it's Monday, so I have dinner at Dylan's on Mondays. I already have my pajamas on. And we're ready for the day. I have a bottle of water with frozen fruit in it. So we are good to go. Now, to figure out colors for the flowers. And I don't know how much coloring we'll get in. Depends on how much this cat lets me color. Okay, so we are using the Pablos. I think that's what we've been using on this page. <laughs> if not, we are now. <laughs> Just go with the flow. <laughs> Nothing ever goes as planned on this channel. So I am going in with, are you sure I have my glasses on? Holy crap. Mauve. Hmm. I'm going to do this down here. So last time I did a color and chat. Well, I did a little bit Friday night with tea time and Friday reads and my whips, which I actually finished quite a few this week weekend and I do have some things to share with you so since Friday let's talk Saturday my friend Kathy came over in I was going to let going to let her use all the colored pencils I have. But we only got maybe halfway through and she had already decided cuz she doesn't collect pencils like some of us do. She only wanted like a really nice set and watercolor pencils. So <laughs> um, I said, well, I have a couple sets of colored pencils that you can use as watercolors, like the super colors, but she didn't get to those because she tried the Derwent ink tents and fell in love with those, even though I explained to her that they're not like a watercolor pencil once it dries you can't move the color again like you can a watercolor pencil and she said that's okay because she has some watercolor pencils they're just not the expensive ones but she wanted the ink tents 
And I said, okay, so she liked those. And she tried quite a few of my colored pencils. And then she got to a set of, I only have a small set. I said, this is all I have. You can try them. So she tried the whole binds and decided she doesn't want any other pencils. She does have Prismacolors and she has some Polychromos. But after trying the um, whole binds, she decided she didn't need to try any more of my pencils. So she said she will save for those because she has some budget friendly pencils. So she said she doesn't need any more. And she, like I said, she has the Prismacolors and some Polychromos. She just wanted to try different sets. And once she tried the whole bind, she didn't even want to try the Pablos or anything else. She she said she's good. So when she got home, she said she had a gift card and a coupon at Michael's. So she was telling me how much the ink tents were going to be with the sale. And I said... No, that's too expensive. I said they're only like $65 on Amazon. And she's like, what? So with her, she ended up, was going to be paying over $90. That's using the 40% off coupon. I said, no, you don't ever buy stuff like that at Michael's. Their prices are outrageous. But we had a good time. She brought um, like a sausage stick and some like laughing cow cheese. But it wasn't laughing cow. It was something else. But it was on the same order. And um, crackers and some peaches. And I had Scott pick up sandwich rolls. Um, turkey breast and ham and some provolone cheese and some chips and pickles. And we didn't get any color. I didn't get any color in done. I had her bring like a Johanna Basford and her Ro Kirby Rosannis and she had a create space and a creative haven and I had her try everything that she was trying in each one of the books to see what she liked. So I didn't get any coloring in. that. Now I'm going to go in with, I'm really having a hard time reading today, these pencils. Auburn. Auburn. Yep. <clears throat> Then when she and while she was here, Justin had come and was doing laundry. He ate sandwiches with us. Then she left here and Justin left. I said, Justin, you can stay for dinner. And he said, no. I fixed a, um, a pork tenderloin with mashed potatoes. You have been able to see what I'm coloring, right? Okay. 
<clears throat> and I watched the Olympics. And then yesterday, did I make a video yesterday? No. I uploaded the um, No Pearl. Oh, yes, I did. I made that Happy Mail video and uploaded that. And then I uploaded the rest of the flip-throughs that I had done on Wednesday. And then had the Olympics on all day and finished, what, four or five whips. Two of them I haven't even posted on Facebook yet. Because when I finished, my phone was charging. And then last night um, at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I did a live stream on my Facebook group. That was a lot of fun. We had quite a few people in there. My lighting's not the greatest for them to see me. So that is the new thing that I will be doing <clears throat> every other Sunday. And the Sundays that I don't do live streams in my Facebook group, then Anne from A Colorful Life will be doing live streams in her Facebook group. For some reason, my internet does not like me to watch live streams on YouTube. I can watch them live stream usually on Ustream and on Facebook but not on YouTube. So Facebook works just fine. So I streamed for an hour because I wanted to watch the closing ceremony of um, the Olympics. So let's see. Let's see where is my paper. So some news for um, what's going on on Facebook groups and YouTube channels. Jessica's Color and Corner. She is going to be doing a St. Patrick's Day color lawn. That's the week of St. Patrick's Day. She chose a Sherry Baldy um, digi-stamp that you can get off her website. It's $4. But she says that if you can't get that, if you can't afford it, then you can color anything that's St. Patrick's Day. So you should check out her channel on that. And Anne from A Colorful Life will be doing March Through Mount Romantic Country. She has chosen four pictures. And there is a, um, she has a video up that tells what four pictures we will be coloring. And 
in my Facebook group, Troy, who is one of my moderators, he is going to be posting about a St. Patrick's color lawn in the group. I don't know if he's doing it for the full month or just the week, but he's supposed to be posting that. So you can check that out. I am not doing it on the channel because we are doing Mytho March. So um, I told him if he wanted to do something in the Facebook group, he could. And then Grace from Grace's Coloring Corner. I think that's what hers is called. She is going to be doing in March mermaids, fairies, and angels color along. I believe she's doing on her channel. I know she is in, the, in her Facebook group. But I believe she's also doing it on her channel. Okay, I am going in with royal blue. So that is all the news that I have for March. And if you know of any other channels doing color lawns or Facebook groups doing color lawns in March, please let me know. Because I am all about supporting other channels. Today I started a buddy color with Barbara Barnes. We are coloring a page out of Seasons from Hannah Carlson and I had marked the wrong page and she had messaged me and said have you started I said I just started like half an hour ago and she says me too I started and then she brought up mushrooms and I said mushrooms <laughs> I started the wrong page I had marked the wrong page that's okay I like the page I was coloring so I will finish that one too So we were laughing about that. Yep, I started the wrong page. She finished hers already. And I'll finish mine tonight. Because I was coloring this morning while the boys were sleeping. And then I pulled it back out. And we were chatting while Blake took a nap. And Carson actually was taking a nap too. So I had a lot of time to color. So I got to the point where I said, okay, I'm done with my colored pencils. I want to finish the rest with gel pens or fine liners and then do a background with my pastels. And she, uh, she finished her page. So I'm done with this week's buddy color just about, just started it. <clears throat> so since the Olympics are over, I will um, color that tonight and watch the past two weeks of General Hospital.
Go lay down. I don't know why she's whining. I just let her out before I started taping, so she's fine. Pearl. Pearl. Leave the tripod alone. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in with that. What is that? Aberdeen. Don't chew on the pencil. You're such a naughty girl. <laughs> Mr. Blake today had a little bit of a temper most of the day. And usually if he just is going to sit there and throw a temper tantrum in the middle of the floor, I'll pick him up and set him on the floor in his room. And he's starting to learn that Mima's not going to put up with the little temper tantrums. So now I just ask him, do you want to go to your room? And he says no. And then sometimes he'll settle down. And sometimes he doesn't. And then I have to I take him by the hand and take him to his room. And he can't come out until he's settled down. He's learning. Because he doesn't like being told no. And he was being horrible to Carson today. Carson does deserve it most of the time. But... Blake would be playing with a toy and Carson would go and get a toy and Blake go over and take it away. And I'm like, no. He's such a little booger. I did that all day today. And eat. That's all he wanted to do today was eat. Dylan came home. He went grocery shopping when he left work. Came home and while well, he's still unloading bags and bringing them in the house, Blake had already gone through and found the bag of cheese balls. So he's eating those. He brought them to me. I opened them. He's eating those. Then he found that Dylan had bought raspberries and blackberries. So he brought those to me. He's eating those. Like, you are going to have a stomach ache. And then Dylan grilled cheeseburgers out on the grill. And he ate most of a cheeseburger. But he's going to need a bath tonight because you should have seen his face and hands from the blackberries and the raspberries. And Dylan said he bought a big thing of peanut butter because the boys love pe peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And he bought cheese. I can make them toasted cheese. Bought apples. Carson loves apples. Blake likes the taste of apples. He doesn't like the texture, so he'll sit there and chew it and then spit it out. Okay, and now back in with Mauve.
And then I was reading, <clears throat> when I wasn't coloring and the boys were playing, I was reading the bookshop on the corner, bookstore on the corner. That book is so good. So I'm like three quarters of the way through, if not more. It was due back to the library today, so I had to go online and renew it. Dylan, he's reading Ready Player One because we all read me and him and Carson, Carson, yeah, Justin. We all read the book a few years ago, and we've been waiting for the movie to come out, and it comes out our birthday weekend. So we um. We, the three of us are going to go to the movies. But Dylan said he wanted to read it before we go. And I have the physical book. He got the Kindle book. And going to read. So I need to pull my book out. Because I want to read it again before we go to the movies. Because that is like one of my favorite books. That book is so good. I think I'll be using some fine liners in this book, on this page. And Pearl is she's on top of my pencil case. She's drooling all over me for some reason. She's not usually a drooler. I am just not having any luck with her today. Um, huh, I think we need blue flowers. Or yellow and orange. <sighs> Let's see. Let's go with. Did she move the book? Let's go with Naples Yellow. I'm going to go in these flowers here. No. So the question is, what are you working on? What are you coloring? Are you done coloring Valentine's? Have you gotten to any new supplies or coloring books in? Inquiring minds want to know.
And what did you do over the weekend? Anything good? Running out of things to talk about. Scott still has not heard word on a new job. Does he have his application in at one place and they are going to be hiring in March, so. And he has someone on the inside. So, that'll be good. Okay, there's that color. Now we'll go in with fast orange. Do I need to clean this out? Oh, I am tired. How is everybody feeling? Has anybody still got all that crud still going around? I know Catherine's been sick again. I need to check on her tonight. I haven't been going out in public because every time I go out in public, I catch something. So I've been staying as a homebody and babysitting. Yeah, I did finish a lot of whips. I finished the one out of the Seasons Coloring Book from Hannah Carlson that I did with Jazz Funk. I finished the Twilight Garden picture. I did watching Kate's Color in Haven. I finished the dragon that I was doing as a buddy color with Lisa. I finished the picture I was doing in Blissful Scenes from Color It. And I finished a Molly Harrison freebie that I was doing. So all of those I finished this weekend. A lot of them were like really close to being done anyways.
So what do I have left for whips? The Romantic Country with Erin from Simple Art for Adults. Magical Jungle that I'm doing with Mama Loves to Color, but she got a job, so she's a little behind. And I'm doing that Jane Madey freebie with A Colorful Life that's a grayscale picture, and I believe the second part is already up. I just haven't watched it. And I'm still coloring using ink tents in Magical City, the Paris page that I was doing with Catherine by watching Peter Hewitt. So I still need to do that. And then this. And then I have a skull coloring book. I forgot I had started just playing around one day with gel pens. So I need to finish that. And, and I have the elephant yet to finish in Imagimorphia. So that I will probably... T well, the Jane Madey one I might take with me babysitting tomorrow. Because I don't plan on watching videos tonight. I am going to color and watch General Hospital. There's that color. And Miss Pearl. What colors? Ouch! You better be nice to me. I can't read these stupid colors. Vermilion. I don't know why they can't use, like, black on some of these. See, you can see that. So why can't they use black? here and then on the really dark ones use white I don't understand Miss Molly my cat Molly even made an appearance in the live feed last night. So, I'm not doing live feeds on YouTube. They will always be on Facebook. Plus, YouTube, you get trolls and perverts that can come in, and they can't do that in the Facebook groups.
and I've been getting a lot of friend requests on Facebook I don't know if you are f watching this channel and going on but I am not accepting friend requests on Facebook unless I really know you because I have way too many people and I'm missing a lot of um, what my friends and close friends are posting Plus, I'm in like 30 coloring groups, and they are taking up my news feed. And I know I can turn off certain things in the groups. So who's all ready for Mytho March? I'm excited. I thought I would have a lot to talk about, but I did all that at the beginning. Oh my gosh! My water tastes good. What you doing, Molly Mo? Pearls just laying on top of my pencil case. Just like, I'm not going to let you get any more pencils. Okay. Leave Molly alone. Leave Molly alone. Oh, you are trouble. Well, this is supposed to be a color and chat, but I don't know what to talk about. Did anybody watch the closing ceremony for the Olympics? 
And if you did, what'd you think of the drones that they had up in the sky to uh, make it look like the panda bear? I thought that was so neat. And then they moved and turned into a heart. That was really, really neat. Did I tell you I went back in with the fast orange? Just blending that out. I'm hoping to finish reading that book the bookshop on the corner tomorrow might even get some red tonight I don't know I know I have to post the last two finishes that I colored yesterday I still have to post those on Facebook Okay, and then I'm going back in with Naples Yellow, I'm going over the, all the petals. I like drinking my water with frozen vet frozen fruit in it. It's refreshing. Let's see. So t Tuesday night, tomorrow night is um hoping to finish this. What's our time? 49. Hi, Molly Mo. You know what? I forgot to put plastic. My cutting mat. Well, I didn't do any damage. Oh, I don't usually forget that.
And now the TV shows are coming back on now that the Olympics are over. I still have to watch the last episode of Grey's Anatomy and Supernatural. Okay, let's see inside here. Let's go with ochre. ochre and brown in here. I'm just going to straight color this. I'm liking those flowers. Hmm. We should be able to finish this tomorrow night. So we don't have much left. <laughs> there we go. That looks nice. So yeah, we have just a couple flowers left. And this one, I'm not sure what color I want to do that. If, maybe I should do that like with the same color as I did that, these two. I think that's what I'll do there. So, Naples yellow it was. And orange fast orange right yep fast orange and vermilion that's not vermilion that is so I have them in the case backwards so I know to use them tomorrow on that and then I think we need a couple more I think these two and these two I will do red Well, no, I'll figure it out. So you have a few pink. But that's it for today, my peepers. We'll finish this up tomorrow. Even if I have to do two parts, we'll finish it tomorrow night. And then we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for other things before we start Mytho March. So I'm not starting that till the 5th. February, or March 5th, yep. So, we will do other videos this week. We'll color in Ivy in the Inky Butterfly. We'll work in one of the watercolor in books. So that's it for today, my peepers. Thank you so much for watching. And catch me again on a new episode of What's New in Shaleen's Neck of the Woods. Bye-bye.